I go by the name of Tej Galore. We're here at Century Gardens today uh, for the Mix Down Volume 4. I'll be performing here today. I'm a Brampton based artist. And honestly, I'm just trying to put people on to what I'll be making. So, so how does it feel to be performing today here at the Mix Down? Um, it's cool. I, I, did a, I did perform at another Mix Down, and this one has more significance just because it's in Brampton. And I feel like that's the city I'm trying to represent. So, having the honor to perform in my own city for the first time is pretty cool. What's your connection to this event, and is this your first time performing? Uh, so I, like I said, I have performed before. Uh, it was for Marie, so Marie is a close friend of mine. That's the, that's where this all comes from. So, the significance is that I'm just trying to like uh, put people on. I, I feel like I haven't put out a lot of content. I've been creating for a long time, but I just haven't had that exposure yet. So, I'm just trying to get them reps in, right? That's about it. Okay, so. Uh, what message do you want to convey to the audience there while you're performing? Um, honestly, I want to show them that, like, just because you're like a different type of race or something, like, doesn't mean you can't make the music that you listen to. You feel? And that's just one I want to convey. Like, it doesn't music is more than just people. You know, it's like messages and like pictures. That's just painted through words, right? So, do you have any memorable moments in your career that you can share with us thus far? Um, memorable moments, I'd say, uh, performing at the first mix down, that was actually my first show up to now in my career, which is hopefully a long road. It's one of the most memorable experiences that I've had so far, just because honestly, it was more than I expected. I expected to have around like 10 people there and it was around like 50, you know, so, and it was quite, quite the show. So I'd say that was the most memorable experience. Yeah. Being young, being a young and new artist uh, from Brampton, how does it feel trying to Kind of like emerge into the scene because a lot of people you know, they, they look down upon Brampton as we discussed earlier. Yeah. Um, so how is it being like a Brampton artist and being a new artist at that trying to come up? Yeah. Um, honestly, uh, I think Brampton just has a bad reputation from a lot of a bad places. Bad things happen everywhere, but for some reason Brampton is just like highlighted as one of the areas where it does happen. So personally, I don't I don't see it as a problem. I think it's just uh, in due time, like everything will you know come through. And there have been artists that. I've been from Brampton before, so it's just another, it's just another time. So, yeah, I think Brampton's just another place like Toronto, and we just like have to claim it and like embrace it, you know. And that's what that's what hasn't happened with previous artists from Brampton. They usually claim Toronto, you know. So that's just what it's about. What are you expecting the next, uh, or sorry, the near future? Any new songs, albums? Oh, uh, for sure. Um, I'd say in terms of sound, I have a lot of different sounds that I'm experimenting with currently. So I kind of want to package these sounds into like smaller EPs just because it's a lot like um, there's a lot of contrast between songs. So, so I'd rather uh, group them together in like wise songs. So, yeah, I do have a lot coming in the future. Um, I'm going to drop a few singles and then closer to the summertime, maybe even like an EP or a project. So just stay tuned. Yeah. So your latest song, All In, dropped about three months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, great, has a nice flow. Tell me about your sound and inspiration you have towards making your songs. Like, do you look up to anyone specifically to create your sound, or is it just on the fly to your own unique sound? Um, so I feel like, yeah, music that you do create is obviously inspired by other music you listen to, right? But I do tend to listen to a lot of different types of music. It's not just rap or hip hop, so my sound is like a reflection of that, essentially. But I would say in terms of inspirations through music, um, I see like storytelling. I take that away from some artists like J. Cole, um, Jay-Z, even Drake sometimes. And in terms of flow, uh, I do listen to Joey Badass, um, A Boogie, those type of artists with melodies because I like to combine the storytelling with melodies in a sense. Is there anything that you want to say to the camera uh, in terms of the audience today, like what you've seen as a any advice, any kind of motivational quotes, yeah. anything like that you want to share? Honestly, just like keep doing what you're doing. It's all about consistency. It's all about actions over ideas, you know, what you're really doing with what ideas you have. Um, stay consistent. People are going to say something regardless of if you're doing good or bad. So, Hey, I'm Tej Galore, and today we're performing at Century Gardens uh, for the Mixdown Volume 4. Uh, and today I'm on the Moment Network.